Hey guys, Clint here at Deep Space Devices. Trigonauts, that's what we're gonna be talking about. And in this video, we're gonna be kind of going through it, giving like an example of how it sounds and how the functions work. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this. It's mainly gonna give you a general idea of how it sounds. We're not gonna get too crazy with it just yet, but we will get crazy later. But, so I guess just listen see how it sounds. It's, we like it. Rain knob. It's going to act as a subtle low mid control with consume off. The bass toggle switch, just bass boost. Bite, null, crunch. Bite, treble focus, null, mid, main focus, and crunch, mid bass focus. It's game knob. You want to kind of tell it's kind of like a limiter, but it's going to have your clean tone more present. For the fuzz toggle switch, when you have it positioned up, it's going to give like a fuzz effect. High frequency kind, of whatever, but yeah, it's, it's fuzzy. Volume knob controls volume. I think we know that. Yeah. To bring out the glitch shutter effect with consume off, the momentary is, is the way. Say an octave glitch stutter. It's not like both at the same time, but it's you have the option with a stutter, stutter knob. I mean, up in the octave glitch, the glitch part, and then down stutter. Yeah, that's it. This one gets pretty fun. With consume on, the rain knob is going to control the overall intensity presence of the octave glitch stutter effect. Having it positioned, you know, halfway or, you know, nine o'clock, anywhere around there, you still use the momentary to get the up. Uh, the maxed out effect of the octave glitch stutter.
This is the Trigonaut. I'm Lucas. Do I look happy? Do I appear happy? Am I looking happy on screen?